Quite a few neuroscientists have made measurements in the brain and they measure activities, oxygen levels, electrical currents and so on. But a famous neuroscientist said once, I have analyzed hundreds of brains now, but I have never found one thought in the brain. So the interesting thing about the brain and about human beings is those things that really make us truly human, like thoughts, intentions, imagination, they cannot be found by measuring the activity of the brain. For example, when we see a picture, photons arrive at the eye and these signals are transferred into electrical currents. And the same happens with sound. Sound that enters through the ear is transferred to electrical current. But we as human beings, we don't respond to electrical currents, but we hear a sound or we see a picture. And we don't know where exactly this picture is seen in the brain or the sound is heard. So it seems that what makes us really human is more than just matter, the matter of neurons. You can compare this situation to a radio, for example. You can understand the wiring of the radio completely on the grounds of physics and chemistry. But if you ask what makes a radio a radio, it's not the wiring and the physics and the electrical currents but it's the message that is transferred through the radio, which makes a radio a radio. And it's similar with our brain. It seems to be the tool for ourselves to communicate with other selves. So I would say human beings are more than their brains.